Hey guys, Lancy here. Hope everyone's doing well. Thanks again for joining me while looking to some more MTG market movers for the day. Now starting off, we're going to have a look at some crazy numbers because obviously this is... Someone's just baiting for a huge price on a Dragon's Tempest promo pack Cal team. Nothing special about it. You can get them for about $4. So a price of 900 and what is it? $9,999. Probably not worth it. Uh, we'll move on. Quorum Trench Gnomes from Legends. This card is insane. It is still moving up. You can see it going up from $55 to now $250. Whether or not you're going to get your hands on this card, it really does depend on if you want to reserve this card. I started off at 50 from Legends. If you want to get it now, it looks like TCG still says 77 95 but I doubt you can get it for that. And if it, you are, you're not going to get a good version of it. Next, Fire and Ice from Apocalypse. Once again, this card was very cheap, 44 cents. Now it's starting to move up, sitting around about a dollar 58 to a dollar, well, almost three dollars. I'd probably say that it is a worthwhile card to get, but Modern Horizons 2 and every other one of these sets still has them for about 28 dollars. The only one you're looking at right now is the Apocalypse version, which I'm pretty sure is just there because someone started moving the markets and it's now being start, now being noticed. If you want it, you can get it from any of these other versions, and the Commander one looks exactly the same as well. Elish Norn Grand Cenobite from Secret Lair series. Now, I'm looking into this, and I'm like, wait, did I get the Secret Lair? Because obviously, it's a good deal, and I bet a lot of people did. But what's crazy is that this one jumped up from $24 to $36. Now, whether or not that means that the market price is going to move once the set comes out, Secret Lair comes out, is different. The prices might actually drop because if you go and check, let's say, New Phyrexian, you'll notice that the price, the price is actually starting to move on its way down again from peak of May 24th when it took off from $19 and jumped all the way up to $32. So that's on its way back down. It does look like there's a bit of a bounce coming up. You can see it, just a bit of a bounce. We'll see how it goes in the next couple of days. There is some news that the monetary policies of the world might actually be still to try to provide more inflation, which means that they might actually start giving out stimulus checks, handouts, and other ways to get more people to spend money, which means that these prices might still be on the way up, as crazy as it might sound. Nature's Cloak from Starter 1999. Been on the list a few times, very volatile in the last couple of days. I'd want to keep an eye on this one because I think if you jump in at the wrong time, you're going to lose a lot of money, especially if you buy like a bunch of them. Nature's Cloak again? Really? Just the same one. Never mind. Wall of Cantrips from Legends. Looks painful. So, pretty easy spike. Very cheap card. It's just been pretty volatile in the last couple of days. 63 cents. Not on the reserve list. You can get them for a dollar forty-eight. Well, I mean, 63 cents. But I'm betting. I'm betting right now it's a dollar forty-eight. So, yeah, if you want a old school Legends card for $1.48, go for it. Not on the reserve list. Ember Wield Gin from Mirage. So, another one of those cards that started spiking around the start of last year, or end of last year, should I say. And ever since then, it's moved from $0.45 cents to now about $2.88. Had a bit of a jump in the last day, sitting at $1.10 on TCG. Yes, it's on the reserve list actually makes it kind of decent when you think about it. Is it actually a decent card? It's actually not that bad. Huh. It's, it's, it's weird. It depends on the deck you're playing. Tyrant's Familiar. So, another dragon card. So, I think, you know, you got a dragon card. It's going to continue moving up whenever new dragons are released and not this card. Not on the reserve list, obviously. It's from Command Anthology Volume 2. There is another two printings, 2014-2017. All of them averaging about $1.75 to $1.90. It's not bad. Sorcerer's Queen from Arabian Nights. So, this card has also been moving up from $60 in the last couple of days, or last couple of weeks, to about $215. So, I'd be careful with this. Not on the reserve list. You can get a fourth edition for $0.85. Cents. Yeah. If you want an Arabian Nights copy of this card, go for it, but $250 for it is a bit much. Strip Mine from Horizon, uh, sorry, from Antiquities. So, been on the list a couple of days in the last couple of days. 
very expensive card. You can get a fourth edition for sixteen dollars from the vault and for forty dollars. All of them have been moving up, but this is probably the biggest price increase, fifty-three dollars to ninety-two. Well, actually, now I think about it, maybe not the biggest price increase, but obviously the most amount of money. It might be worth it in the long run because this is a very in-demand card. Reckless one from Dual Dex Anthology. Very volatile. I'd be careful with this. Sitting at a dollar twenty-one. Moving up slowly. You can get one from Onslaught for seventy-five cents. Elvish Mar Elvish Warmaster from Caldheim. So this is actually a cool card. It's a nice little bear. Sitting at three dollars forty-seven on average. Pretty much meaning it's a good card because it's being used in a lot of decks for the price to be sitting there. It's not an end stand. Oh, actually, I take that back. It's a st standard and modern for elves. It might start increasing in price pretty rapidly if modern becomes more popular. Power Breach from Plane Chase. So, very consistently move moving up for the last couple of days. I think it's been on the list a few times. Sitting around about $2 now, pretty even. You can get the cheapest version as a dollar dollar from plain chase but I don't think that's accurate anymore it's probably about a dollar fifty skull of Orm from the dark so this is a from the dark card that's sitting at about six dollars you can get a 99 cents from eighth edition five tap return target enchantment card from your graveyard to your hand uh, expensive but enchantments you know, it's tricky it, it itself is an artifact that doesn't help so six dollars average for the market price it's one of those weird ones where the average is actually lower than the market price but if you want to get a card that plays around with enchantments i guess it's not bad it's from the dark as well so it's kind of cheap for what it does you're really going to have to make it work in any of the decks you play so i'm going to mtg goldfish the biggest gains for today culling ritual moving up by 10 percent from strixhaven 14 percent gain for magda brazen outlaw didn't that have like a 20% drop just yesterday? So kind of a up and down. Righteous Valkyrie now dropping down by 10% to now sit at $5. Not much else moving on the daily. Weekly, I mean, Prismari Command has been up the top. Omnath uh, Locus of Creation, Righteous Valkyrie 12%. So 10% drop, 12% gain over the week. If it drops another 10%, it'll be a 2% gain for the week. Not that impressive. We'll see how it goes. Actually, it should be less because the gains are always different from the drops. So if something gains 100% and then drops 10%, then <clears throat> it's going to be different ratios. It's going to have to take a lot more effort to drop. So Sigata's Aid, 16% gain. So now it's at $11.63. That's quite a lot. Shimmer Dragon still sitting at $7.49. 7% gain. No drops that are over 5% even. So that's pretty cool for modern. Uh, sorry, for Pioneer. For Modern, Coat of Arms gained by 12%, but that's a Commander card, so now sitting at 18.49. And nothing else that's really on the list. 20% drop for Fracture and Gust, but that had a huge gain in the last couple of days. And once again, a really, really quiet day and week. Anyways, guys, that's it for today. Have a good one, and see you later.